Hi there, my name is Stephanie Bernthal with ESU 17, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Pals app. So I'm just going to do a search for my app right here, and Puppet Pals HD is the app that I will be demonstrating. This is a great app um, to create kind of animated movies. Uh, you can do little puppet shows, obviously, and um, it has some neat features. So the first thing right here, you can save shows, would obviously take you to any of the shows that you've done in the past. Um, if I tap more characters, you'll see that I can kind of download all of these different, um, all these different kind of categories, I guess I should say. You know, you could do space, you could do talk show host, war and peace, the wild west. So if I wanted to download another pack, I just tap on it and say install, and then I get all of my wild west characters. So I'm going to tap back in the um, lower left hand corner and now I'm going to go ahead and press to start. Okay so the first thing that you do is actually choose an actor. So um, the top two actors are ones that I have added from photo so if you have your own character you want to add you can choose add from photo. Um, but you can also see all those packs that I've kind of already installed like I just did the Wild Wild West so I got all of these characters um, with that pack. Um, if you're a social studies or a history teacher, the political pack and the U.S. history pack are awesome to use. Um, if you maybe are a literature teacher, maybe your students are creating a story with some of the fairy tale or the community helper packs. So there, there's a lot you can do with this. Another kind of fun thing you can do is make your own character if you have the upgraded edition. So if I add a character from a photo, I can um, choose an existing image from my camera roll. So I could actually take a picture of one of my students. I'm just going to go to camera roll here. And I'm not going to use one of my students, but I will use this as an example. And you can kind of move the picture. And then what you do is you just trace around the image with your finger. And it's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. But I've done this with a lot of students, and they just love seeing themselves as a puppet. So you're pretty much just tracing around the figure, and then it actually makes your own little puppet that you can use in your puppet shows, which is really fun. So you can choose up to eight actors to be in each puppet show. Um, I'll ch choose the fairy godmother. And now I'm just going to tap next. Once I'm at next, um, you can choose from a lot of the backdrops they have. They have their own fairy tale backgrounds, political party, history, and such. But they also, you can, um, as you see that I've done a lot, you can add your own backdrops from photos. You'll see I do have just one plain green one, and that's for if I ever want to use anything from Puppet Pals in my green screen projects, which I do quite often. So for now, I'm just going to choose a fairy tale option. So I'm going to pick this wooded plane. And again, I'm going to hit next here. Now I have my little fairy godmother. I can make her bigger or smaller by kind of pinching in and out if I want, depending on how big I want her to be. And you can kind of start her anywhere you want in the frame. Like I could start her over here, and then when I push record, she wouldn't even be in the screen. I could start her in the screen. Um, I can also use this slider right here to kind of make the screen bigger or smaller, depending on if you have littler kids or, or how many characters you have. So I'm just going to have my character starting on the outside, and maybe for my video I just want her floating through the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the record button up here. And then it will record not only your movements, but also the sound. So right now as I'm explaining the video, it's also recording my voice. And I'm going to have her just fly off the screen. And when I'm ready to be done, I just push stop. Notice you can also pause if you need to take a break, switch characters, get scripts out, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm done with my video, so I want to push play, the green play button, just to see how it looks. And you can't hear the sound because I have my sound turned off, but if you could, you'd actually be hearing my voice explaining how the Puppet Pals app works. But kind of neat because you can make kind of your own little animated digital story, which is pretty cool. And if you like what you see, you can just click the Save button located here next to Play. I'm going to give it a title. And click Save. 
and now I'm going to say yes. So this actually um, doesn't save to my camera roll right now. It's only saved in the app itself. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and there's my fairy flying. And you'll see here is where I can export it. So if I tap export, um, then you can actually export it to your camera roll and use it in other um, apps like a lot of people will take multiple videos and this and then combine them all in iMovie. It's a really nice way that you can app smash and make a really polished finished product. So once it's done I can just say super and if I hit my home button and if I go to my photos and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my camera roll and here you'll see I have my nice little um, video of my fairy godmother just flying through this beautiful grassy field. If you have any questions regarding this app, please feel free to contact me.